Cross Country Day is now concluded here at the FEI Classics Leg at the Rolex Kentucky three-day event presented by Land Rover. Derek DeGrazia's course and the weather played their part and clears inside the time proved extremely valuable. A clear inside the time moved Australian Bill Levitt and improvised up into fifth place overnight. Fourth place then, William Fox Pitt and Bay My Hero, the defending champions, they did pick up some time penalties to drop a place. Fisher O'Connor and Mikkel Jung, they went clear to take third, but one second over the time for Sam means that Mikkel sits second with that horse. So our leader with a clear inside the time staying on his dressage score is New Zealand's Tim Price and Wesker. Tim, great round there. How did it go? Good, I think. Um, yeah, came home clear inside the time, so that's always the, uh, the primary task and, um, and completed that, so that was good. So tell me, you went the long way on eight and nine. Why was that? He's he's actually um, the last couple of years been a very honest horse, and um, when he was coming up through up to advanced level, we had a couple of blips at little uh, questions like that. But I just thought it was one place just to mind myself a little bit. Um, it's early on; he was fresh. It catches him out a little bit with the coffin. I don't think I haven't watched many today, but I don't think it's been riding particularly smooth. And I just had a bit of a gut feeling. And he's very quick to go the long way. Um, he's, he's tight on his turns and he still had plenty of gas in the tank. So it wasn't like the end of the course having to, to wheel him around. So, um, so that's where I decided to take my medicine and um, spend a bit of time. And you were held on your round. Do you think that helped you out? I think it would help any horse. Um, you know, but then just make sure that you get them awake again to go. To make sure they don't think the game is over. And, um, and he's, he's a good horse to switch on and switch off, so, so it, it, did, it did benefit him. Um, yeah, I was, I was keeping some gas in the tank anyway for the downward run after that corner up the top there in the quarry. Um, so, so yeah, I, was, I, was, I think I would have been fine without it, but it's always of, of an advantage to have something like that happen. So. Well, well done and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. So just over 45 competitors are scheduled to go to post in stadium jumping here tomorrow. Join us for all the action due to start at 1 o'clock, so we'll be on air just before as we look to the conclusion of this FEI Classics leg at the Rolex Kentucky three-day event presented by Land Rover on FEI TV.